E aí, galera, tudo bem? Estamos aqui no DCS World F16 Viper. Essa sequência de vídeos que eu estou postando são dos arquivos lá do canal do Matt Agner, aquele CEO que posta os vídeos acadêmicos do F16 Viper. Até o outono de, desse ano de 2019, ele vai lançar vídeos explicando algumas coisas sobre o F16. Como os vídeos deles são públicos, eu vou reeditar eles e colocar aqui no nosso canal com legendas do YouTube. É, vou colocar a legenda do YouTube lá, vou copiar o vídeo e vou postar aqui no canal. Como os vídeos dele, eu já falei, são públicos, não vai ter problema. E como o meu canal não tem monitoração, ou seja, eu não ganho dinheiro para postar vídeo no YouTube, eu acredito que não vai ter problema. <cười> Mesmo assim, lá no na descrição do vídeo eu vou colocar todos os links dos arquivos original do Matt Egner. F16 Viper, acompanha aí. Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS S16C Viper video, we're taking a first look at the trackwall scan mode or TWS of the Viper. Now this is great for situational awareness and beyond visual range combat, as well as engaging multiple targets at once using the AIM-120 AMRAAM air-to-air -air missile. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are looking at the SCR, the fire control radar on the left MPD. And we can see that we're in range wall search mode right now, RWS, which is part of CRM, combined radar modes. And to switch from range wall search to track wall scan, we can simply press on the OSB. And now we have track wall scan indicated. Let's go back for a second. Another way we can do that just using the HOTAS is if we press right long, more than 0.8 seconds, on the target management switch or TMS switch on the control stick, we can also switch the CRM mode this way. So right now we're in track wall scan mode and we have the ability of course to uh, change our display range. Our asthma setting right now is 60 degrees, 30 degrees we have our asthma setting bars, 10 degrees back to 60. And it's important to note that unlike a range wall search and track wall scan, you actually have to use the OSBs to set these. Uh, you can't use the cursor to uh, bump the range or go to the side to set the azimuth. And then finally here at the bottom, we have our bars, which is a four bar, one bar, two bar, and back to three bar. Stay at four bar for now. Now on display itself in track wall scan, uh, we see we have uh, filled in uh, solid squares with vector lines, and these are called uh, track files. At the bottom, we have the altitude in thousands of feet and a little uh, vector stem indicating its direction of travel. And if you have a smaller little circle, that's actually a search contact, which indicates that there's just not enough information about that contact at this point to actually build a full track file. And you can have up to do a 10 track files that track while scan system is monitoring at the same time. Now the next step up from a track file is called a system file, which uh, gives um, more coverage or um, detailed tracking information on that contact. There's two ways, different ways we can do that. Uh, one is we can put the uh, cursor over one of these um, uh, track files and then go forward on the target management switch. And now you see that we have a hollow uh, indication, indicates in the system file, and also the azimuth scan switch to 25 degrees and is centered on that target. And we can do this uh, multiple times. We can actually go up this guy here and set him as a system target as well. And you can set all these um, track files as system uh, files if you wish. And when you do that now, you can actually go TMS to the right to cycle between them as called bug targets indicated by the circle around them. And at that point, you also have enough steering information to guide a missile on them. Now, if you ever want to come back from a bug target to a system target to a track target, we just go aft on the target management switch. So once, twice, and now we're back to a, uh, a track target. Now, another way we can set a uh, track as a system target is we can go right on the target management switch. And we did that, you can see that all three of these automatically switched to system targets now. 
And as we said before, now I can go uh, right on TMS again and cycle between these targets automatically, very quickly. And as you notice, as we bug each one of these in turn, the azimuth uh, scan of 25 degrees will center on each one of these. Now the final step, of course, is to make a bug target a STT track or a single target track. And to do that, we simply place the cursor over the uh, bug target and we go forward on the target management switch and now this is an STT target. And if we want to dump it as an STT and back to a bug, we go aft on the target management switch. And also you notice that these other ones first popped up as search targets and then they went to track targets. Let's go aft again, aft again, and now they're all track files again. And if we go right on the TMS switch again, now they're system tracks. I go right one more time. Now it's a bug target. Now I'm cycling my bug targets. And I'll make this one further away. TMS switch up. And now it's an STT. So those are the ins and outs of using trackwall scan. I very hope uh, you enjoy this video and I'll see you next time. Thanks.